Hi, this is Spencer Colgan, and welcome to Spencer Colgan's Wallpaper. So we're hanging a mural in a commercial building, in a hotel. And so I've demonstrated this on another video. I might put up both of them because it's going really well, this method. Watch this. So how do you line them up? It's very simple. At the very top, you'll see two black vertical lines that are about a quarter of an inch. Let me just point them to you. It's not important that you see them. They're match-up lines. Here and here. They're supposed to guide you. But when walls are crooked, and the wallpaper isn't stretching, it goes where it wants to go. You could wind up an inch off, even if you matched up perfectly at the top, you understand. Just take two perfect sheets of, of paper towels, right? Six feet long, as long as your body. Hold them exactly at the top. Look at how far off they are at the bottom. Now you got the point. Okay. I have what's called a bleed. I have a matching pattern that's gonna get cut on the overlap, and on the underlap. Where it matches is where I'm going to cut it. And so I'm gonna have a little excess of bleed underneath and above. And that gets thrown out. The, the, the trick is, how do you make sure that this is directly on top of the pattern underneath it? You can't see through it. It's a little nerve wracking, right, if you knew. Watch this. Let me tell you, this, this method, is the same trick that you would do as a kid when you're making your little movie and you make a face and you put a little smile on it and you gradually make the smile bigger and bigger and bigger and bring it. As you flip through that little book, a little notepad, you can see what looks like the face moving open and closed. Well, you would see that differential in this were the pattern not directly overlapped with the underlap. You would see that change in what I'm simulating in the other scenario with the, with the book. And so you don't want to see a change. And so you need to see the same exact thing quickly when you flip it from the top and underneath it. And I'm going to show you, and you'll see it from the video. Watch this. So you keep your eye on this pattern. It looks like Batman, right? Here's the head. Here's his wings right here. Watch this. Let's get them in real good so they can see this. Can you get over here? This way they can see it right here. You want to focus right here. And so when I go like this, guess what? My Batman is not moving. If it is, I know I got to pull to the left, the right, up or down. But with this wallpaper installation, you don't want the figure to move. That's the idea of the flip book. And then if you want to double check, this is the second thing I want you to do. If you're pretty sure you got it, take your fingernail, push it on a point. Try to find a point in the pattern right next to the edge, in the bleed. And you simply want to match up where you're pushing on with, on the overlap with what you're pushing on on the underlap. And if you pull the overlap back to your fingertip, if you're exactly matched up, well, you got it, okay? Just come over here, please. And let's just see. Now I have a rounded image here, this rounded petal of a flower. I'm gonna put my fingernail right on the edge of it. And guess what? I am almost perfectly Right there. Okay? Perfection. Don't be intimidated by this. I want you to be able to do this. And I want you to leave me a note that you did this on your own. You can do it. Now, you want to hold down where you've matched it up. You don't want to do, do, duplicate your efforts, right? This took a lot of time. Hold your paper down when you straighten the rest of it out. Because it will move on you. Okay? Now we're gonna go down another 24 inches. And find another matching pattern. I'm gonna find the other petal. Now I know it could have moved, no, it wouldn't move, but I know that I may have to move it down here. Okay, I'm putting it at the edge of this petal, and I'm way off.
Boy, this really works. You can really see what you gotta do when you go quickly. You gotta trust yourself too. You gotta trust that what you're seeing is actually as perfectly as you think it is because it really does work. with me. I'm not going to show you perfection without the sweat of what it takes to get there. So if this video initially isn't perfect, it's because this is real life. You're practically watching this live. See, I have the chance to make everything look nice and easy, but I'm not going to. I'm going to show you that you might be matched up down there, and then you got to rework it up here. Okay? So this way, you don't get frustrated when you do it at home and say, it wasn't that easy. Well, it's not that easy for us either. Okay? But don't worry. Patience. Patience. Again, I'm holding it in place. I'm going to move it over here. You see, manufacturers want to make bigger pieces of paper. But what it does is it makes it a little harder to install. Okay? 54 inches is cumbersome. But, you know, that's the way they do it. Just in case you you don't still understand what's going on here, the manufacturers create a bleed on each edge of the wallpaper. So every piece of wallpaper, every consecutive wallpaper has at the very edge the same pattern on the right underlap and on the left overlap, so that you can cut through the bleed and have a perfect seam. Okay. So even if you don't understand what bleed is, this is bleed. This is going to get cut off some of this. We just have to make sure that the bleed on top is matching the bleed underneath. I'm a little over to the left. Here. Thank you. 
I move it out of whack. So I'm holding it down here and I'm fixing it up there. Perfection. Join me as I do a double cut. Now, a couple of considerations. One, you don't want to penetrate the sheetrock. We know that because once you breach the sheetrock, it allows for moisture to come in and out. Believe it or not, even that little cut on the sheetrock paper will let air over time come in and out, just ever so slightly within the wall. And guess what? That compromises the seam over time. So you have to know your millage on the paper, this is the only thing I would ask you to be extremely careful and exact about, and that is not to penetrate your sheet wrap underneath it. It takes a feel for it over time, okay? Or you can use something underneath it, but that gets complicated. There's something called a polycarbonate strip that you can put underneath it. It was actually trademarked by a wallpaper hanger named Steve Boggs. And uh, I have used that strip, and I have penetrated through the strip. That's why I'm not using it here. Otherwise, I would use it. It's a great thin, it looks like a thin piece of plastic. It's about as wide as about three and a half inches. But I penetrated it with my blade. Okay, so I'm going to break away the blade. shut the laser line off after I put my piece of tape up against the laser line, which is now a template straight line. But what I have here is a factory edge. It's perfectly straight. My wallpaper is already plumb. So if I keep this perfectly 90 degrees rectangle perfectly parallel to the line, my line is going to be straight. So I'm not winging it here. You have to know what you're doing in order to make a straight line. And so let's go. I'm about a quarter of an inch from the factory edge. I'm penetrating both layers of wall cover. I'm penetrating the bleed so that I wind up with a new seam. Now, if you can help it, keep your blade on the wall cover. Sometimes you can't help it. You might lose your balance. You might need to change your blade, which is rare, but it happens. Keep the blade in the paper so that you're not, you don't have impression marks when you lift your blade up. Okay. Again, I'm keeping my blue gun parallel with the factory edge that you see on the left. And so, if I maintain that distance visually, my line is straight. Here's my overlap, okay? That's over, overlap, okay? Now here's my underlap. And I'm about to pull off. I pull off my top sheet of paper, and I have an underlap. Now if I didn't perforate this completely, it would be resisting my pulling it off. 
That's why the only thing I suggest to you that you take extreme care and time and attention with is your cut and that you make sure that your blade doesn't come off and that you maintain a parallel straight line because it's important for the final edge. Is, I'm pretty? Thank you. Yes. Oh no, the paper? Yes, you're pretty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that looks wonderful. Oh, how pretty. You. Thank you, dear. Okay, so now, I'm very grateful to the manufacturer. The line is perfect, but it's not so much that I'm, I'm perfect. It's the, the quality of uh, the manufacturer is pretty good. Sometimes, you match up on the bottom and at the top, but in the middle you're off. And that I attribute to, if you haven't overstressed the paper in the middle, I attribute that to manufacturer error. So, I'll be done with the video in a moment, but I want to just share with you the technique to do a double cut on very good commercial wall cover. You can show them the line. Tú puedes mostrar la línea a la gente en YouTube. And there you have it, folks. I'll just uh, perfect it with a little, um, with a little heat, a little uh, finesse. But there you have it. That line is 99% done, folks. Very good. Now this is Spencer Colgan. I thank you for watching Spencer Colgan as wallpaper. If you have any questions about this procedure, I understand that it might be difficult to grasp. I suggest that you watch it twice. And then if you still have questions, shoot me a uh, line on the comment section. Thanks for watching. Click on like, subscribe to my channel, and we will see you on the next one.